I am putting the challenge out to you, Pokey Pidge. I'm pretty confident that I'll leave him to eat the dust that flies off the back of my tyres as he looks on from behind me, watching me triumphantly take first place in every single race. I won the traditional races despite his dirty tricks, you know, like um, putting pins in my chair and lacing my tea with cyanide, but gratefully I could smell that one from a mile off. He's a very different person off screen as that British guy, you know, so with that and the death threats it was, uh, it was still pretty easy to win. Pins in your chair? Uh, we were sitting on a sofa. This sofa. And the death threats? Well, the joke's on you, pal, because I can't even read and write, so I don't know who you got those death threats from, but it wasn't me. And as for the cyanide in your tea, you know damn well how much I love tea. As if I would ruin its taste with cyanide. I still believe that British guy put pins in my chair during our previous collaboration. However, I would like to withdraw my accusations of cyanide in tea. That British guy is totally correct and he would never ruin a good cup of tea. The death threats received were sent directly from that British guy's email address. If it wasn't you, that British guy, then does your partner have access to your emails? Is this series now going to include a wider contest to resolve these issues involving partners? You dare to bring my other half into this as well? I'm sure we'll be able to find something for those two to be doing in this series as well. So you just name a time and a place and I will be there. In terms of a time and a place for the races, I propose we compete on my home turf. If I do not win this Mario Kart series, then the very future of that British guy as a YouTube channel is in your hands. And what's more, we'll find out who the victor is when this series starts on my channel on August the 5th.